In this video, I'll teach you how to extract all records which fall between a start date and an end date in Excel. I have a data set consisting of three columns, a date column, a column for employee names, and another column for their bonuses. What I want to do here is I want to be able to filter this data set based on a start date and an end date, which I input in these two cells over here. So I want to be able to input any given start date and also an end date. And I want to be able to filter this data set over here accordingly. And I want the results to show in a separate table. And I want that table to be over here. I'm going to be using the filter formula in order to be able to achieve this. Now, if you're new to my channel, I've already created another video on this very same topic. But in that video, I use the index mash formula. Now, the reason I'm using this filter formula is that the formula is much more simple and much more easier to apply. Now, if you're using Excel 2019 or earlier versions, the filter function is not available in those earlier versions of Excel. However, if you're using any version of Excel after Excel 2019, or if you're using Office 365, this filter function, which I'm going to be explaining in this video, is going to work. That said, if you're using earlier versions of Excel before Excel 2019, you can always watch my other video in which I teach you how to do this with index match. And the link for that video is available in the description box. That said, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to be applying this filter formula, which is currently displayed on the screen in this cell over here, as I want the results to show in this area right here. So here's how it goes. Equal sign, filter, open parentheses. Then I'm going to include the full range, which in this case is the full table over here. Then you have to put a comma and then you have to put your criteria. In this case, we have two separate criteria. The first criteria is that the date field, which is this field, which I'm going to select right now, has to be greater or equal to the start date, which in this case is January 1st, 2001. Then we put a close parentheses. Now, since we have two criteria, we need to multiply the criteria with each other. This way, the filter formula will give us records in which the date in column A is greater than cell B2, and also when the date in column A is smaller than cell B3. So I'll put the multiplication sign, then open parentheses, and put the date range again, and this time smaller or equal to cell B3. And I'll put a closing parentheses and another closing parentheses, and I'll click on enter. And as you can see, all dates between January 1st, 2001 and January 1st, 2015 have been returned. Let's quickly validate. Uh, that's correct. All dates which fall between these two dates have been returned. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind here is making sure that your dates that you input in these two cells, that is your filter range, have to be in this exact same format as the dates in your data set. In other words, if you're using hyphens as a separator between the year, month, and day, you have to put hyphens here as well. So make sure that the dates are exactly in the same format. Because if the dates in your data set are in a different format than the dates in your filter criteria, which you put up here, then you're gonna get an error. But as you can see right now, they're in the exact same format and this is working exactly as we want. So let's go ahead and test this out and let's input another date range. Let's see if this filter formula works with another date range as well, because this is supposed to be completed dynamic. So I'm gonna change the date from January 1st, 2001 to January 10, 2003. So that's the new start date. And I want the new end date to be July 1st, 2017. And there you go. The correct range has been returned. And we're getting all the records in which the date in column A falls between these two dates. And this is how it's done using the filter formula. And as you can see, this is a very short formula. 
and you only have to apply it in a single cell. So you don't even have to drag this down as opposed to the index match formula, which I explained in my other video on the same topic. That being said, as I explained earlier, this filter formula will work in the most recent versions of Microsoft Excel. So if you're working with any version of Excel, after Excel 2019 or Office 365, this filter formula will work. And if you're using older versions of Excel, don't worry at all. You can always refer to my older video in which I explain how to get the exact same results using the index match formula, which is a much longer formula and it's an array formula, but it delivers the exact same results. And the link to that video is available in the description box. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos.